Should I really be doing this before my proposal? Can you use expired teeth whitening strips? Well, Welcome to my channel. My name is Grace if you're new here. It's gonna be a very exciting video this week. We're doing a glow up transformation. I think every girl does this like at least once a year. You know, we have an occasion coming up or like a, an event. That's what we're doing. As you saw, we went into Target and I basically got all the things that I need to glow up. So my occasion for this glow up transformation is I'm getting engaged. And you might be like, Grace, how do you know that? How do you know you're getting engaged? Isn't that supposed to be like some type of surprise? Long story short, it's pretty impossible to surprise me. However, I will tell you the story of how I found out exactly what was gonna happen and when. I think it's pretty funny. But now we're gonna go home and work on our glow up transformation. I think before we start the process, we have to lay out exactly what we need to glow up. So, I think to start off, I most definitely need to get my nails done. I'm getting a Russian manicure and I'm so excited because the girl that I found, she does Michaela Peterson's nails. So I'm super excited to get them done by her and it's a Russian manicure so I've never had that done before. I've just been basically letting my real natural nail grow out and get like gel over it. But my nail just ends up breaking anyways so of course they broke the week before I had my appointment. So this should be so fun. I cannot wait to get this manicure. So number one is nails. Number two is a pedicure, duh. Number three is definitely skincare. Fourthly, I kind of wanna like touch up my layers, kind of touch up my curling bangs. Oh yeah, and of course the gym, of course yoga and cardio and everything like that. I think that's everything before I get engaged. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I forgot. The last one is waxing. Eyebrows, armpits. So let's get started with the most fun video. I feel like this is just so girly, so fun. I love everything that we're gonna do. Okay, first let's get my headband on. So I was thinking while I'm putting on my face mask, I wanted to tell you about how I found out about the engagement. Before we do that though, Anfisa sent me a little package. This is definitely the cutest like PR I've gotten. They sent me just like a little personalized cute little card with a written note and then the lip gloss. Well, it's not really a lip gloss, it's a like lip treatment. Came inside of here and this packaging is so heavy and so luxurious. I was so surprised when I took it out of the package and everything. It has a metal applicator, which is so cool and it feels so amazing on your lips. Also, this tastes so good. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. In one of my other videos, I showed I was using this this is my absolute favorite, favorite mask of all time. Honestly, this works better if you have oily skin, but since I have, you know, some breakouts right now, this will literally make them disappear. So love, love this mask. I've been using it for a long time. So let's get into the story of how I found out about my engagement and how I figured out the dates and everything. <laughs> so first of all, I think it's important to know that it is very hard to surprise me 
I like things a very certain way. I am pretty picky with a lot of things. So surprises probably are not the best idea for me. And Vic knows that. One day I'm in class with Carmela and we're kind of talking about, you know, the engagement and whatever. And I didn't really know. I, I honestly, I didn't know anything. I thought he was going to, you know, propose here in Arizona, you know, and I wasn't trying to figure it out. Like I didn't want to know. And so we're in class just talking and we come across these engagement pictures that I thought were super beautiful. And I was like, oh, Karma, aren't these so pretty? Like, I hope that our, like my pictures come out like that. And she gives me the look like, and I'm like, what? Immediately, because I know. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I can't, I can't like tell you. And I'm like, Carmela, like show me the Instagram of the photographer. I need to see if the photographer is like has good pictures. And um, she's like, and we're in class by the way. So this is like extremely hard to communicate this and I can't hold on any longer. I can't wait till after class to like actually talk about it. So it was like a whole thing. But she ends up giving me the Instagram of the photographer that Vic had chosen and already paid. And the pictures, let's just say they're not my style, okay? <laughs> and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, the pictures cannot be like this. I was planning to save these pictures forever, show them to our kids, have them framed in our house. like. It cannot. I have a vision in my mind and this is not the vision. And so I'm like texting Vic at, as he's at work and while I'm at, in class and he's freaking out because, oh, also by the way, the reason why she didn't want to show me the photographer is because it would have revealed the place of where he was proposing. I just took, took the sacrifice with that one. I was like, I need to know. I just need to know if the photographer is good or not. So all the pictures were at Lake Tahoe. Vic, that's where he grew up. So I thought it was so sweet and I think it's beautiful. The pictures like, I mean, obviously of Tahoe are absolutely stunning. That's how I found out about the location. So anyways, Vic was absolutely amazing about it. Um, he's the best ever. And he said, okay, you know what? Let's talk about it later. I'm at work but we will get the photographer you want. And yes, I already paid the photographer, but we're just gonna have to bite it and whatever that I can't get a refund, whatever. And so I, I thanked him a lot for that. A couple weeks to a month passes. I think we're just like obviously talking about the engagement and everything. We picked out the week that we were going to Tahoe to Reno to visit his family. Obviously, I put two and two together, you know. I already have, at this point, I already have a week span to guess what day he's going to do it. He had kind of basically just slipped up about the date and accidentally said it to me. I knew it was on the 25th. That was in my mind for a long time. I knew what date it was gonna be at, whatever, whatever. Just this past week, like on the weekend, I think. <laughs> We were on the way home with getting something to eat and he goes just nonchalantly just kind of casually he goes You know what? I think we should do. I'm like what? I think we should get all dressed up in our Like proposal outfits and I think it'd be so romantic to go the night before the proposal and Just kind of take the last moments of being boyfriend and girlfriend together in our outfits and go up to where we would go to do the actual proposal. I was like, um, what? I was like, no, that, no, we should not do that. We should not wear the special outfits on some other day that's not for the occasion. I'm like, no. He's like, what? I'm like, Vic, no. And he starts getting super butthurt about it and like super sad. I'm like, Vic, why are you acting like this? Like it's fine. We don't we don't have to be in the proposal outfits. We can be in whatever we want. Like we don't have to, you know, we don't have to be in their in the really fancy outfits. Basically things get a little heated and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go home. 
and he starts laughing and he goes you're gonna regret that and i was like what i got so mad and he's like he's like it's because i made plans to make it wednesday night not thursday night and i start laughing and we hugged it out but that is the story of how i found out exactly what day and exactly what location we're doing it's fine like seriously you can't really completely do a surprise proposal unless the girl doesn't care what she's dressed in or like how her nails look you know you just can't do a surprise proposal so that's what i told him and it's true you know like at some point it's not gonna be a surprise anymore, you know? Like when your boyfriend's like, you gotta go get your nails done, go pick out a really nice dress and meet me at this like weird location. Like now I think is a good time for teeth whitening. Don't even know if these work, these teeth whitening strips. Honestly, I just noticed that they make my, I think they make my teeth a little whiter, but also they make my teeth super sensitive. So once again, you just gotta sacrifice things. So let's do this. Wait, is it like that? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hate how they feel. Wait, can you use expired teeth whitening strips? Me, who doesn't use fluoride in my toothpaste, but I'll use bleach on my teeth. I wish my teeth actually just looked like this, you know? This just makes me feel like a girl. I'm just saying, yes, I'm so girly. Like, I'm just pampering and grooming myself. Like, mm hmm. Yeah, with my pink headband. All right, Grace, enough. Enough rambling. That's from my jewel, because I'm not swallowing this. No, no. Time to take it off. Did it do anything? I hate when it leaves little patches like that. Okay, well, we're just gonna go wash this off in the shower. Take a little everything shower, but we're not shaving because we're waxing. And definitely gonna brush my teeth too. This is my favorite glow up toothpaste. It's charcoal toothpaste, it is fluoride free. <laughs> Hello. It's charcoal toothpaste, it's fluoride free. So, love this. It has coconut oil in it, so you're also oil pulling. But this is the end of the segment for tonight. We did a lot today, but tomorrow we're going to continue the saga. And Saturday we're going to continue it. So, good night, girlies. I will see you tomorrow. It is quite a bit later now, but the glow up saga continues. Here's the deal. I had cut my hair. You know what? I need to brush. So I had cut my hair a while ago, I think maybe in like March or April. I got layers and curtain bangs as I said before, but it's basically all grown out now. But now I kind of want them back. So we can either use, and also yeah, I'm not gonna go get my hair cut. <laughs> I'm not gonna go get a little trim, a little trim of layers and just have them do what I can do at home for free. Like, girl, that's not me. I'm not gonna go get some unnecessary like thing that I can just do myself. So, but I wish I could. I wish I could though. No, nope, we're, we're still in college, so. Mm -mm. So either we can use these, sis these scissors that are probably 20 years old, or we can just use a facial blade. And I need my water because I'm getting very nauseous. I don't know why I get so nauseous out of nowhere all the time. Also got this, my favorite essential oil. It's peppermint and basil and patchouli. So this really calms me down. And if you didn't know, peppermint oil makes you not nauseous for some reason. I have no idea why, but honestly, I think I'm going to try with the facial blade first because I think that'll give like better layers. So I guess we should just start with the current bangs. I'm just going to share with you guys what I'm doing because honestly, even though I go out on whims and whatnot, like I don't really have a plan when I do things, they turn out so good. So I would take my advice honestly. 
since we want this part of it, oh my gosh. Since we want this part of it to be the shortest, we're just gonna kind of shave it down. Here we go. All right, a little bit came off. That looks bomb. I think it almost just like got rid of my split ends. <gasps> okay. That a lot came off of that one. Should I really be doing this before my proposal? What if this makes my split ends worse? Okay. Wow, it looks exactly the same. But also, it's the little things that count. You know what I mean? I think that looks so pretty. These are my nails beforehand. As you can see, they're super short. I can't decide between these. This is what Vic wants me to get. And these. Yeah, they're pretty similar, but these are like a little more nude. And then these are obviously like ballet pink. So, I don't know. Okay, so now it's a little bit after. We stopped by press and got a matcha. Vic doesn't like coffee and doesn't like matcha or any type of caffeine so he got an orange juice and a little sandwich but these are the nails they're seriously just so stunning and so perfect she did not disappoint at all I couldn't get a video in there cuz I felt like she was really down to business she right was locked in yeah. She was so locked in. No chit chat. This is definitely a treat because these were $150. So this is not an every month type of thing. I love when you go to somebody for a service and they are really serious about their craft. You know? Well, now I have to get a pedicure. I just have to, right? And then going to run errands, get like last minute things that we need for the trip for ourselves. And then, what? So that's what today is. Today is just, well, within the glow up, we got our nails done, getting the pedicure done. I'm gonna wax tonight. <laughs> he doesn't know what it's like to be a vlogger. It's easy to vlog. It's just funny that you're like, you're like nervous right now. I'm not nervous. I know, I know you're not nervous, but like for some reason you're like, you're going slower than normal right now. Well, yeah, know? I'm going slower because I have to think about what I'm saying. Right, right. We out. Back in my bathroom. So here's the deal. I told you that we are also going to be waxing. And 
of course I waited till the last minute to do it. So we're gonna try to do that right now. It is the night before I leave. I leave tomorrow morning and we still have to glow up. We still have to make this a priority. Since we got our nails all done and pretty, I don't wanna get wax on them. So we're gonna put some gloves on. So I actually should have prepared this, but I have, I mean, I, I melted the wax, but I also have these wax strips that I need to cut in half. It's so funny because in some things I'm like totally type A, you know, like I need things planned and I need things to be a certain way or else everything falls apart. Then other things, I'm like this, literally did not think this through and I'm just doing this last minute and just doing it on a whim and hoping it turns out fine. And usually it does. Once again, I'm gonna tell you to follow my instructions because I think I know what I'm doing. I also have some olive oil right here so that the wax doesn't get stuck everywhere. And then we have our wax right here. Oh my gosh, wait, I can't even see what I'm doing. Don't drip, don't drip, don't drip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's no going back now. Oh my gosh. I also hope I don't get it, get it all over my shirt. Ow! I hope I didn't do too big of a strip. Like, don't want the gloves sticking to it. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yep, men go to work nine to five. Women do this. Yeah. Here it goes. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, wait, it looks so good. We're gonna put some olive oil on it right now. The oil makes the wax not stick. Takes it off your skin. Cool, now let's do the other arm. If you're a guy, click off right now if you're not my boyfriend. Actually, you shouldn't have it even clicked on this video. What are you doing? Three, two, one. Ooh! That, that one came off so good. 